Hello. Do you know what fubbing is? It's the practice of snubbing others, even unconsciously or consciously, with our phones. I know, I know, it's your communication tool, but bear with me, okay? According to a study by Meredith David and James Roberts of 145 adults, fubbing decreases marital satisfaction in part because it leads to conflict over phone use. The two scientists found that fubbing by lowering marital satisfaction affected a partner's depression and satisfaction with life. A follow-up study by a Chinese scientist assessed 243 married adults with similar results. Partner fubbing, because it was associated with lower marital satisfaction, contributed to greater feelings of depression and anxiety. It's not just our partners, though. In general, people who pick up their phone while out with friends, family, or at an event are seen as distracted, impolite, and inattentive. Like when you're driving? Really, stop that. When your attention wanders, we know you're no longer in the room. You're disconnected. You shut us out. You've moved on to something more important to you. A recent study in the Journal of Science in 2012 showed that even putting our phones on the table between us during dinner can cause the other people at the table to feel distanced, ignored, unimportant, and that the conversation lacked the depth of quality that people hoped for. When was last time you had a conversation and someone picked up their phone in the middle to check a text message? or maybe a tweet. When was last time you did it? It may be that our phones help us to stay connected to the broader world, our friends, our family, and even the news. But if we're sitting down face to face with real people, how rude is that? In the study, they ran an experiment. They randomly asked people to either leave their, near, their phone nearby on a desk outside of their direct visual field. And instead, they had a pocket notebook to kind of write things in. They were asked to discuss a recent interesting event that happened to them in the last month. Or they were asked to leave their phone in a common waiting area before they were led to a private booth with a randomly assigned partner. They were then asked to spend 10 minutes discussing the agreed upon topic together. Each participant was then asked to grade the interaction based on partner closeness, quality of relationship, and positive or negative mood overall. It's probably obvious at this point that those who had a cell phone present in the room felt disconnected. Relationship quality was lower, and there was less trust and less meaningful conversation experienced by both participants, and the overall mood was negative rather than positive. It's kind of obvious that fubbing alienates those around us to some extent, but that the act of dropping our phone in a different room lets people know that we're here for the conversation without diminishing the value by distraction. We're present. Interestingly, the study found no difference between gender or age on relationship quality in the conversations. A phone present reduced the quality of the relationship across the board. So how do you look at your mobile device now? How has it affected your own relationships? Do you make a practice of putting it away, not just down or face down on the table between you? Try this experiment for yourself and let me know how that works out. Look, I'm an, as addicted to my phone as anyone else. I love food shops at restaurants and responding to text messages immediately. But I ask you, what difference does it really make? Can it wait? Be here with me right now. And take the pledge to ditch the phone when you have an opportunity for a real conversation or even to enjoy a sunset. Instagram, even Twitter, can wait. Thank you.